नमस्ते सलाम सताल हेलो एंड वेलकम ऑल माय लिसनर्स एंड व्यूवर्स दिस इज माय चैनल इशामुद्दीन खान एंड आई एम योर होस्ट आई एम एन इंडियन स्ट्रीट परफॉर्मर दिस इज द फर्स्ट एपिसोड ऑफ इंडिजीनियस स्ट्रीट परफॉर्मर्स ऑफ इंडिया आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर एक्सपीरियंस एंड ट्रेवल स्टोरीज ऑफ माई परफॉर्मेंसेज इन इंडिया एंड अब्रोड ऑल्सो आई विल इंट्रोड्यूस सम अदर इंडियन एंड इंटरनेशनल स्ट्रीट परफॉर्मर्स folk artist theater actors and many others who would like to talk about street performers for students of sociology and anthropology i believe it will be more intriguing as we know about the urban society and also about the tribes living away from the cities and urban society as we know about tribes living in the snow in the mountains in the ocean and on the islands there are still many tribes who are not yet in contact of mainstream world those tribes who live far away from urban ways and lifestyle it can be very dangerous to go near to them that's why we couldn't know much more about them the people and the tribes that we have come to know so far through the research of our researchers which has been taught in the big universities and which are also available on google like alludes from alaska and news from japan bedwin from sahara and middle east bindigu or aborigines from australia bushmen from kalahari chukchi from northeast asia ussr no siberia eskimos from uh, greenland north canada alaska north siberia fulani western africa one thing is common for all these tribes and interesting is that many of these tribal people are not academically educated but they all are very important part of academically syllabus the way they spend their life are normal for them but for people who are learning they are very interesting because these tribes have their own system of everything from education justice celebration agriculture entertainment marriages life and death different kind of tribes are found in world as mentioned earlier but i am an indian street performer and similarly there are so many tribes in india as well most of them listed and recognized after independence and so many of them are still unrecognized or incorrectly categorized our ancestor used to perform on the silk route from burma which is now myanmar to turkey which is now turkey we have been performing on the streets of india and the subcontinents for centuries and our skills are passed down from generation to generation father to son mother to daughter within the families it is very interesting unique and different school of learning when i say i'm a street performer great number of people don't quite understand because in the name of performing arts in india uh, they are like folk music and dances classical music and dances circus notanki drama theater and well known bollywood <laughs> worldwide but you may surprise to know uh, there are actually seven performing arts of street in india beside the well known arts forms such as magic juggling acrobat masqueraders or impersonators street singers and goat monkey bear performers and snake charmers all these indian street performers art tribes used to be in all oldest civilizations like mesopotamia ancient egypt ancient india ancient china ancient peru ancient mesoamerica all the oldest civilizations lost this kind of tribes families and community performers totally india is lucky that street performers tribes still exist i am one of them 
as Indian traditional street magician. According to UNESCO, Indian street performers are a part of this intangible cultural heritage. Indian street performers have been entertaining people for hundreds of years. Uh, these men and women have through years of training and practice acquired awesome skills that cause, you, uh, cause us to amazed, awestruck and filled with wonder. They can swallow swords, juggle heavy balls, make a rope rise right up out of a basket in defiance of laws of gravity and they can sing song which enthrall. UNESCO has recognized many of these performing arts as part of world culture heritage. Do you know how the traditional street performers contribute to our culture and society? Of course, street performers provide an alternative form of entertainment which is uh, wholesome and instructive while opening up the people people's imaginations each performance is uh, interactive and so the audience is not passively watching but taking part in the performance in a way that stimulates our society's imagination and develops their sense of wonder or encourage curiosity when a person watches a street performance she or he is watching a live performance which is uh, interactive and full of energy that is the reason why so many schools abroad are incorporating uh, such performing arts into school curriculum also colleges universities and institutions invite street performers for a talk i have done so many do these street performers contribute to our society yes of course the existence of these communities enrich our national culture and celebrates its unique diversity. This creativity is a valuable resource for cultural development. Almost all street performers, whether it is acrobat, jugglers or magicians, have dialogue based performances that has wisdom and values the uh, promote communal harmony and tolerance do you know that we are in danger of losing this precious culture heritage and future generations will be deprived of this treasure because of rapid urbanization there are uh, fewer public spaces for these artists to perform and many have given up their professions even though they have years of training more and more people are hooked onto television movies and mobile phone and they no longer value the art and wisdom of the street performers so this is very serious matter to think for the society my interest to bring the program to you is that I have seen and learned a lot of fortunate things and uh, have some experiences which help to think critically and navigate through in a tough situation when needed in the uh, when needed in life as a performer and as a human being traveling around the globe and seeing the uh, difference of all kinds of traditional and modern art and artist. In India, I perform corporate shows and I have performed hundreds of festivals around the globe. Sometimes I create my show uh, differently where I uh, explain some issues and social causes through magic for many NGOs and organizations. So I consider myself a fortunate one that I can share my stories where so many uh, artists cannot. It's not that they don't want to, but they face the hurdles of language and platform. I have done my schooling till 7th standard, 
but I have always been a curious to learn what interests me apart from my art, of course. And that's how I have learned English, so I can perform in English as well communicating with my audience. So I tried and learned and here we are today. I know I am still no master in English, so I may make mistakes, but I will try my best to share real street performers stories and interviews. Hope you will feel good to know all the facts and truth about the amazing world of street performers. And hopefully people all know that who are they, where do they come from, how do they learn their craft, how they celebrate their amazing rituals and practices. Isn't it amazing that a tribe celebrate death before life and they organize this death festival bigger than the marriage celebration. Also, we will talk about the other performers like puppeteer, storyteller, Rajasthani singers like Langa Manganyar and Kalbili dancers and many more folk arts artists from different states of India. Please comment if you want to know many uh, any other indigenous performers of India. I am excited to do this program not only to share the stories, uh, history, but to entertain my audience to ask interesting questions, funny incidents and stories. Because as a performer, that has been always my job and I love it. You will get new episode every week on my channel on Shamuddin Khan. I need your help to reach more and more uh, performers who are living in the different states in the villages of countryside in India. So I can invite them to my studio or maybe I have to go to them to shooting their stories and experiences. So at this point, I am requesting to you to help me financially to support me. My heartfelt request to you, please subscribe my channel and share it as much as you can. That would be your great help to grow this channel. For your financial support, I am sharing my bank detail. See you till next week. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you very much.